Hey Clubhouse, welcome back to another week of The Big God Story. I am so happy you're here with me, and I'm so happy that you're keeping up with our story. Today our story comes from the Bible, of course, and it comes from Acts chapter 12, verses 1 to 19. You can read it in your Bibles later with your parents. Today I'm going to read it to you from our Big God Story. Our big idea is God responds. So, when you pray, do you think that God listens? Do you think he hears you when you pray? He does, and he always responds. What does respond mean? Respond means to give an answer. It could be an action right away, or a quiet answer that we'll hear later. God's answer may not always be what we want or what we expect, but we know that God wants what's best for us. In this part of the Big God Story, we're going to hear about a group of people who pray and how God responds to their prayers. After Jesus went up to heaven, his disciples went all over the land and told people about Jesus and about God's great love for him. More and more people decided to follow Jesus and the church grew and grew. What's a church? When we say a church, we might be talking about the building, but the church is also all the people who believe in Jesus and follow him. Did you know you're part of the church? Even when we're not going into the building right now, you're still going to church. You're still part of the church. Well, King Herod heard about the growth of the church and he didn't like it. He didn't like it one bit. He tried to make the disciples stop talking about Jesus, but they wouldn't listen. They loved God and were faithful to obey his words. Herod ordered his soldiers to capture Peter, one of Jesus' disciples, and put him in prison. Herod ordered 16 soldiers to guard Peter and even chained him to two of the guards so he wouldn't be able to get away. As soon as the church heard Peter had been taken, they gathered in a home and started to pray. They loved God and they didn't want anything to stop Peter or anyone else from telling the world about Jesus. So they prayed and prayed and prayed all through the night. So God heard their prayers. And he responded. While Peter was sleeping, chained up to two guards, the other soldiers were outside guarding the prison gate. Suddenly there was a bright light in Peter's prison cell. An angel woke Peter up and told him to get up. And then the chains fell off of Peter's wrists. The angel said, get dressed and put on your sandals. Now put on your coat and follow me. So Peter followed where the angel led. They passed by the first guard, and then the second, and soon they became, and soon they came to the big iron gate that led from the prison to the city. As they got close to the locked gate, it opened all by itself. The angel led Peter safely away from the prison, and then they left. Peter hurried into the home where the other people of the church were praying for him. He knocked on the door. A serving girl came to see who was there. When she heard Peter's voice, she was so excited that she went to tell everyone. The girl was so excited to tell the others, she forgot to let him in. Well, when she told everyone Peter was outside, they didn't believe her. Peter stood outside and kept knocking on the door. When they finally opened the door and saw him, they were so excited that everyone began talking at once and couldn't hear Peter. He motioned for them to quiet down so that he could tell them what the Lord had done to save him. God responded to the prayers of his people. God hears us when we pray, and he responds. The people prayed for Peter all night long, and God responded and sent the angel to set Peter free from prison. God listens to us when we pray too, even though we might not always act in the way that we want or expect, he will always respond for our good and for his glory. During this time where you're stuck at home, maybe some of you are going to school, some of you might be staying at home a little bit longer. I encourage you to keep on praying and keep being faithful to God because he loves you and he knows what's best for us. He is in control through this virus and through everything else in life and he loves you all so much. I hope you have a great week and I hope to see you all soon. Love you all. Bye!